Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. I am trying to film on a different camera, so you'll have to excuse me um, because I can't, still can't, find my battery charger for my DSLR. So I'm going to try it on this. So um, it's been a while since I've done a colour chat. Today we're going to be colouring and chatting in Fairy Tales by Selena Fennec. It's the only one I could think of. I got to be honest, I've been. I found it very difficult to decide what to do. I was looking at things and I'm thinking, I ain't. I'm not feeling this. Uh, that's right I found something I can do now so you know we'll have to excuse me because everything's backwards on this camera because the way it's set up so when I move it down or it looks down to you it's up for me so we're going to do uh, one from fairy tales we're going to do um, I've just got a piece of plastic in there um, this one which is Goldilocks and the three bears so I'm going to attempt to do this, so you'll have to excuse me while I zoom in a bit, and uh, then I'll have to fiddle to get the whoops the bit we want. So there we go. That's not too bad. See what I mean? It's I'm not used to using this camera. This is my vlogging camera. So anyway, let's uh, see what we can do. I'm going to just use the Black Widows because they're the ones that are here. So filming upstairs today because Paul's having a Zoom meeting downstairs, and I just couldn't be bothered to set up and, on the table. Um, to be honest, so. We'll start, as I always do, with her skin. So hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're, you've are you been here before, thank you for coming back. And if you're new, thank you for coming here for the first time. I hope you enjoy it and I hope it's not too bad. That's actually better. Now I've got to figure out which way to turn this so it's in front. See what I mean? I can't figure out. There we go. There we go, nice and close up. Um, yeah, so, oh, yes, thank you for joining me. So it has been a while since I've posted a video. Uh, there has been, there have been a few reasons for this. The first one is, uh, on on Tuesday I had the first of the COVID vaccines in the UK. There's, there's two different ones. There's the Pfizer one and there's the Oxford AstraZeneca. I had the Oxford AstraZeneca. And uh, then on Tuesday night, I started feeling extremely tired. I just wanted to sleep. And then I, I went to bed and I got a very bad headache. It, it, it is a known side effect, it's a headache. Um, I had a very, very, very bad headache. And yeah, I was felt absolutely awful all day Wednesday. I couldn't get, I couldn't move my head. It would hurt far too much. So I, I stayed off work. I just stayed in bed and slept all day. It really was that bad. I, it was just horrible. Um, I also had a, a pain in my arm. It still hurts if you touch it where the needle went in. Uh, I felt a bit sick. I was tired. And of course, the headache, it was very debilitating. I couldn't move my head. Absolutely horrible it was. And uh, yeah. And that lasted all day Wednesday and most of Thursday. And of course I'm filming this on Friday. So, I'm back now. Still feeling extremely tired. Which I think is probably the last part of the, um, the side effects. At least I hope so anyway. But yeah. Ah, oh, that's her arm up there. That's her other arm, yeah? Oh, yeah, it must be. So, I'm back. Now, like I said, I couldn't decide what to do to start with. I was, I was, I've been looking through all my uncoloured books because I wanted to try and do something I haven't coloured in, so that's why I picked this one. And had I not found something in this book, I would have gone to something like Midnight Masquerade or... I don't know. Uh, one of the chibi books, maybe, but you know, I wanted. Uh, you know what it's like sometimes. You just feel blah. And choosing a picture is so hard. And I saw this one, and I thought, yep, yeah, that's exactly how I feel. Just like Goldilocks, just want to sleep. <laughs> Luckily, in my own bed, and not in the bed of a little bear. <laughs> Other than that, now I'm I'm fine. Jennifer's fine. Paul's fine. I'm very excited to have my jab when they called me. Um, booked it in straight away and was very happy to have it. So I still recommend it. I think it was worth doing. 
never know, we might eventually get our lives back. Or at least some part of our lives, who knows, eh? We'll have to actually see. Um, so I'm just going to move this. So, yes, it's just remembering which way to... That's it. Oh, it's all over the place. Yeah, not that way, not that way, not that way. <laughs> I'm going to have to find the charger tomorrow. I'll have a good look for it tomorrow and see if I can find it. Because this is ridiculous. <laughs> but I thought we'd have a go and I'd say hello. So thanks for sticking with me. I don't like to leave such long gaps. Part of it is because I haven't got my flipping charger. I think Jennifer's hidden it somewhere. So today, I, I did get... The Uhuhu 200 set of uh, alcohol markers. I've had a very quick look at them. I haven't done anything with them yet and I was wondering if you wanted me to swatch them on camera and do a first impressions on the colour selection. And so on, I haven't really thought about it at the moment. You know, I've looked at them and thought, oh yeah, they look nice. Um, so if you want me to, just let me know. See, I'm, I'm struggling again. I'm never good at this. You know, when you're playing first-person games and you have to go the opposite direction to what you think you should. <laughs> I'm not very good at that. I'm really not. I have no idea whether this is actually going to be the right way up when I do it because... <sighs> oh, I don't know. Let me turn it the other way around for now. It is easier for me that way, but it might be upside down for you because I'm assuming when I switch this back... It's going to be the right way. Yeah, yeah. We'll do it that way then. Oh, I, and I've got it on a very, very flimsy tripod, which is the one I use for my book tube. So it's not really... That's the bears. That's it. It might be easier for me to do it this way, actually. That's a bit better. Makes a bit more sense now. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Never mind. Oh, you know what it's like sometimes. You just... You can't, yeah, it's definitely a bit more, makes more sense now. Hang on, let me pull it down, but that's it. So, yeah. It's very windy here in the UK at the moment, so. Yes. Um, yeah, very windy. It's not nice out there. I'm glad I'm in the house safe. I wouldn't want to be out in that tonight. And I'm still having trouble. Well, there we go. <laughs> yes, I shouldn't have bothered tonight. I should have waited till I found my charger. But I, I wanted to colour. I don't like leaving it for so long without some kind of fairly decent video for you guys to see. I mean, on top of that, I've actually missed filming. I've missed chatting to you. So, yeah. So, from now on, we can now meet up in gardens. Groups of four. Whoopie do. We no longer have to stay at home, we just have to stay local, whatever that means. And the uh, hairdressers can open from Monday, which is interesting. But there you go. I'm just a bit sniffly today, so. Yeah. It's just, you know what it's like sometimes. You feel really, I feel really worn today. And I think it's partly the weather. I do. So Goldilocks and the three bears, she's obviously got to be blonde. <laughs> she's getting a bit darker. I do like Selena Fennec. It's been a while since I've coloured in one of her books, so I'm actually quite glad to to get back. Oh, I was doing that thing again where I don't know where I'm going with it. Do you know what I mean? I really love her books and, yeah, and I haven't got the newest one and there's still loads I haven't got so I must uh, try and get some more of them. Mm. 
right i get a bonus next month from work so i'm going to buy a, a load of coloring books with it so paul, I mean, paul's funny sometimes he says don't spend all your money on coloring books and I said I'm going to spend some of my bonus on colouring books. He said, well, if it makes you happy, spend the money on colouring books. Just don't spend all of it if you want to. I said, no, I'm going to spend a bit. And then I'm going to put the rest of it away for our summer holiday. Should we actually get it? Because that would be nice. Have some spending money then. So I'm hoping... I'll be able to get one of the Clara Markova books that I haven't got. Because I've only got two of them. So I might get Tenderful Enchantments this time. Every now and again, I'm going to save up and get one every now and again because I do love those books. I think they're beautiful. Let's have a sip of drink. And then, um, I can, uh, I'm looking for the bit I'm looking for which is here it's not easy I'm gonna to have to find a charger for that other one otherwise I'm gonna to have to look up how much a charger for it's gonna cook cost and get a new one and it's my own fault because what happened was I lost the cable for my laptop part of the half the cable and it had the same end as that and my new printer and rather than take the printer one I took the one off the flipping charger and now I can't find the charger end it's so annoying. You know what I mean though, because I need my charger. I love my camera for filming. It is better for filming that camera particularly. Do you know what I mean? It's one of those really, really good ones. So I like to, to have that. And of course, I can flip it sideways rather than just up and down. This one only flips one, two, like up and up and down it and slightly out, but it doesn't flip to the side, which the um, other one does. <clears throat> Is it that one I want? That one. <laughs> How are you doing, Catherine? What have you been colouring lately? Let me know. I'm always interested. If you've got Insta or a channel, let me know by leaving links down below. I'll go and check it out. Um, I think I'm and Andy P74 on Insta. Let me just check. I can never remember my Insta. Oops, I was looking at that. Um, I'll look it in later. It is Andy P1974. If you want to come and uh, have a look, I, I, it's not just for colouring. Oh, for flipping X. I can't see, I can't do this. That's it. There we go. I do use it for other things, so it's just a personal account. There's pictures of me and Jennifer on there, there's pictures of records. There's pictures of colouring, books, normal books, DVDs, um, scenery, anything and everything. It's literally just my personal account that I like to use. So if you want to have a look, you can. You don't have to follow me. I'm, I don't mind. But... Um, yeah yeah this isn't the easiest camera to use so I do apologize for the terribleness of this video it's not the best I'm afraid that's the one I want this pink one again so it's not going to be a long one today it'll probably be about half an hour we're halfway through that already um I don't feel I'm fed up of doing this till I find the right position like I said I'm no good if I'm playing computer games as well and it's the same thing I think I'll just take it out slightly if I can there we 
we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? Gives me a bit more leeway. I do apologise. Sometimes I use that one as well. That's her face done anyway, apart from her lippy loos. I'll use this one, I think. I want to use my sort of like flossy pinks. This is Bliss. Pink is one of the least colours I use. I'm not a big pink person, to be honest. Doesn't much like, like she's sleeping on baby bear's bed then. She's a bit big for a little girl, isn't she? <laughs> but then, who knows? Right, I'm gonna have a bit of, what says peach? What's this colour? Mm, I'm looking very yellowy. That's a bit too yellow, isn't it? Sunburst. So on the video, um, uh, things I'm watching on YouTube, other than all your fabulous colourings from Feb, and of course your book hauls, because I need to see what you've bought in case I want something. There's usually something in there. I'll put a darker colour over the top of this, because this is rather almost luminous. Um, yeah, I'm watching all that. But I'm also watching a channel called Geographics, which is about places um, around the world. It's hard to see which bit's hair and which bit's bow. So I'm just going to colour it all in hair apart from where it's obviously bow. Um, so you've got things like uh, some disasters like Chernobyl, um, other nuclear disasters, the um, smallest uh, principalities and places like Monaco. It's fascinating stuff. That he's also the guy that does it, also hosts a, another channel called um, Biographics, which of course is more about people. And see, I'm struggling with this, completely struggling, trying to get this lined up where I want it. I'm going to have to turn it that way, slightly, so I can see better, but it's still not going to work. So, like I said, I do apologise. This is a terrible, terribly filmed video. Like I said, I only use this camera for vlogging, and I also do my booktube that I've started doing on here. I haven't done much yet, um, booktube. I will do more at some point, but... Um, at the moment, uh, it's just slow because I'm not buying books and I'm trying not to buy books at all. I don't want to buy books. I've got so many books to read that I don't, I don't need to, to read and buy and spend money on reading books. I don't need to buy money and spend money on colouring books either because I've got so many, but I do love different artists and artwork and that's why I buy the different colouring books but uh, I am only trying to buy books that I will be keeping is what I'm trying to say so it's not that I'm not buying books at all I am only buying books that I I want to keep so for instance I will buy uh, books on Marilyn and books on uh, Jack the Ripper, uh, books on Hollywood in general, uh, books on history books like Egypt and the Titanic, 
um, theatre books on some theatre books uh, and so on because that's what I enjoy and I collect them certain authors like Jodie Taylor I'm so sorry this is a terribly rubbish video so I do apologize and uh, we won't have done much by the time I give up on this one I think <laughs> Hopefully we'll come back to it. We'll have the other camera and it'll be easier. And I'll be downstairs. I'm only up here today because I, I, Paul, when he's having a chat with his friend, they can get quite loud. Um, he's got quite a loud laugh, so... Which is fine, but um, didn't really want that to interrupt in our little chat, so... Everybody's all right. We're still missing Rosie very much. And Mum's saying she's not going to get another dog. And then she says she she might get another dog. So she'll get another dog at some point, I'm sure of it. Let me just do that under there again because it's getting on my nerves. That's better. Um, she will, I'm sure. But, uh, it's weird. House without a dog is weird. I mean, we don't have a dog here, but we've never had one. So it's not weird. It's normal. But for my mum, who's always had dogs, for as long as I can remember, there's been dogs in the house. To me, that's very, very strange. There you go. I like her hair. Her hair's a nice colour. What colour? Should we do her dress? Should we do it different shades of blue? Or should we do it red? I don't know. The bedspread and the curtains is going to match. That's okay. That's bushes outside the window, so that's fine. So I think... Oh, I don't know. Hmm. I can do her dress red. If I can find a nice red. Now that is the only problem with this set of pencils. You don't have any ends on them which tell you what the colours are, so you have to go looking for the colours. I know there's some nice reds in here. <laughs> here they, here's the two I use the most. Well, there's three I use the most and they're all very small. So, I've got to be honest, this month I've mostly, mostly been colouring patterns. Mostly been colouring patterns. Uh, why? Uh, just been in the mood for patterns. They're easy to do. And um, they, they're just easy to do and they're relaxing. And when you're not really in the mood, that's the way to do it. You see, that's what, what you need to do is you need to do something nice and simple that is... just takes your mind out of it. Straight colouring and straight colouring patterns is what I like to do. So that's what I've been been doing at the moment. So I haven't stopped yet. We're on 23 minutes. <laughs> We've hardly done anything. But that, that's okay. I'm not too worried at the moment. We'll just keep going. Now I've sort of got it set in a, a place we can carry on. I mean, it seems to take a long time when you do pencils because when we use markers, it's all so much quicker. Um, obviously, because you don't need to put on as many layers. You know, you put two colours together and blend them together. I'm not very good at that with the markers, but I do try. And it's a lot better, but yeah. I find it, uh, it is a lot quicker to obviously use markers than it is to use pencils. But sometimes it's nice to use your pencils for a change. It's, it's, it is nice. Ooh, somebody's posted a very big colour in haul two hours ago. Looks like they got some, is it the Holbein's pastels? It might be, I don't know. I'll have a look in a bit. <laughs> Sorry, my TV's on in the background, but it's not actually playing a video, so. 
so as you can see I'm on a third layer and it looks redder on camera than it is in real life and I'm not happy with the red yet so I'm going to keep going. I've got another colour here just to do the this bit here. I've got another red that I'll get out in a bit for the, the frills in her sleeves. I think that's why a lot of people do a marker bases and then do pencils over the top. Sometimes I just like to use pencils. And yes, sometimes I do just like to use um, markers. It depends on my mood. And I, want, I, I love using pencils in these Selena Fennec books. I might get a couple of hers when I... There's so many books I want. When I get my bonus, I might get one of hers. I might... Um, limit myself to one book per artist till I've got one of each of the ones and then see what money's left of course Clara Marco was going to take a huge chunk out of it if I do get it but it makes sense to do it when I've got this yeah. see how much I get first and then when I've got it I'll uh, I'll decide how much I'm going to spend because there are loads of books I want, I'm not going to lie. It doesn't matter how many colouring books you get, you always want and you do always end up buying more. So if you watch my weekly vlog, is it on this one last week's? I think it's on last week's. It's definitely on this week's. Um, I am on the launch party now, the launch team for Ava Brown books, which means when they release one I get sent a PDF for review. So you'll be seeing a lot of Ava Brown stuff. I'm very excited because I love some of their books. I've got a couple of them. Um, so I'm really looking forward to colouring in them a bit more. I think I've got... I've only got two bought ones at the moment, but there'll be definitely one more of those going on. One of their older ones. <laughs> I think I know which one. I haven't 100% decided, but I think I know. So... And um, obviously there's still some Jade Summer ones I haven't got. Um, I've only got one Bennett Klein. I want another one of those. I haven't coloured in it yet because when I first got it I was like totally overwhelmed by the grayscale. Now since then I've actually done some of that grayscale in pencils and in markers. So I know I can handle it. Looking at the pictures I know I can handle it now and I will. So I know that, you know, if you want me to see, see me colouring uh, a Bennett Klein book, let me know. I've only got one at the moment, which is Colour My Sketchbook, the very first one. I'm not too bad. A lot of some of them are out of print, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that because I'm not particularly bothered about the ones that are um, themed ones, other than Bloom, which I like to the look of, and that one is still available. So I might put that on my list. But the original Colour My Sketchbook 1, 2, 3, so on, they're still available, so... I probably get at least one of those. Is it sad that I want the Buffy the Vampire Slayer colouring book? Because I do want that one. Much like I've got the Doctor Who one, I want that one. I think I wanted the, the Serenity one, or the Firefly one, whatever it's called. Yeah. So, so yeah, so there, it won't be a big haul this month. There will be a haul, because obviously I've got the Oh Who Who markers and a few other bits. And a few current books, though not many. Um, but so there will be one. But at the end of the April, because I get paid at the end of March, will be a nice big current book haul. I don't do unboxings because I have to. I, I've got to unboxing straight away. I haven't got the patience. I just haven't got the patience. I'm really trying to clear my shelf of books that I haven't coloured in but obviously it's still getting bigger obviously my PDFs don't go on there so the Ava Brown ones or anything I get on PDF won't go on there obviously because they're PDFs they have a pile of their own um, but I have got a lot of books that I haven't coloured in. Okay, I'm assuming we just hit 30 minutes because it switched itself off. So I'm assuming it does what the uh, other camera does. Because the other's coming as well. 
Uh, so I've got a ton of Jade Summer books. It's a huge stack. I've pulled two down to work in this month, I think, have I? Um, I'm not sure. I've definitely got one. Oh, no, definitely two. Maybe I've done the one. I can't remember. And anyway, I've definitely got one sitting next to me to be coloured in next. At some, when I finish the picture, uh, another picture I'm doing, which I'll work on when I finish this and I, I go into bed and just watch some TV. And I've got a shelf that's not quite full, but it's getting there. And that does not include, like I said, the Jade Summer ones, which have got their own shelf. And the Calorin Heaven ones, which I've also got. Not their own shelf, but there's the pile of them stacked up on a, another shelf. So. It is hard work. It really is hard work. All this colouring makes me tired. No, it doesn't. It makes me relaxed. It makes me happy. It's a funny hobby. When you think about it, it is a strange hobby. Because it's what kids do. Or in Jennifer's case, doesn't do because she just scribbles. Because she's too young yet. But you know what? It is relaxing. And that's why sometimes I don't want to be fussing about shading and blending. I just want to colour. I don't want to worry about where the light is. I just want to colour the damn picture. Because that's what relaxes me. If I was worrying too much about shading and blending and making everything look perfect, I wouldn't enjoy it. I, I really wouldn't. I'd find it stressful. And to me, the point of it is that it's not stressful. <laughs> it's not supposed to be stressful at all. It's supposed to be fun and relaxing. And at the moment, it still is, though. So. I am still working on my uh, first impressions. I've just been really lazy with those lately. I don't know why. I usually enjoy doing them. Again, not having my camera battery charger is a bit of a problem. So I'm hoping that I might uh, sort get that sorted and I'll be raring for it but to be fair I haven't felt like doing any eBay either so it's all swings and roundabouts at some point everything will click back into place for me and I'll be like yeah let's get on it let's do it with eBay it'll probably be the new tax year <laughs> um, with colouring it used to be when I feel like it more than like when I find my charger I've got three dead batteries downstairs and i got one that's partially used in the camera so I'm kind of um stuck at the moment trying to in you know okay like I said this is not the easiest camera to film on it might be easier if I was sitting facing it properly but it's because of the setup it's difficult But I am getting so, so tired, which is not good because we've hardly coloured anything. I'm just putting this layer of red on her dress. She looks nice, I'm not going to lie. I, I must colour slowly compared to some of the other colourists who seem to colour really fast. But I don't know. of Kirby's I want to do soon as well have you seen pictures from his book that's coming out next year yeah I've seen not full pictures but some snippets I think it was on Facebook and I thought oh that looks really good one of his I think it's another in the world series like we've got a fragile world of worlds within worlds so I'm looking forward to seeing what that's gonna be but it looks really good I, mean, I love his artwork I do find some of it intimidating though now I've finished one it's getting slightly easier to think, right, I could do this one. So I look through the book and think, I could do this one, I'll do this one next. And then pick a slightly harder one again. 
But in Fragile World, I want to do the koala in the, the koala bear one. I just think it's adorable. I am afraid of ruining it. So. I haven't started yet, not because I'm afraid of ruining it, just because I've got so many other whips on the go. Um, I always have a whip that I try and finish on the month that I've had on the go for a while. So I'm currently working in Serene by Nick Filbert. It's one I started last year. I've finished, I think, most of the pencil work now. I've just got the background to do. So I'm going to use Distress Inks on that. I've got a photo, a vintage photo, which we would call sepia. And the ones, I just got some in the mail today from Amazon that I am going to use as well. A blue and a purple for a dramatic sky, I hope. It'll either it'll look good or it'll turn out to be a hot mess, but hey. And I've done the angel, if you've got the book you know the one I mean, the um, stone angel. But I'll explain what I've done when I finally finished it, which will be hopefully by the end of this month and it'll be on my finished pages. Like I said, it's only really the background to do and maybe a bit on the wings. I was doing the wings last night, I, was, oh, I can't do no more. So I stopped and did something else. I'll go back to that later if I so wish. Because, you know, yeah, it's going to take a while to do this dress I think. looking nice but I'm also aware of the time because there's a clock on the wall not on the TV it's telling me what the time is but it's Friday night so the only thing is if Jennifer wants to get up early it's gonna kill me so I'm just gonna do some in here So how are things where you are? Are you all back to normal? Are you still locked down? Are you just being careful? Have you had the vaccine? Are you going to have the vaccine? Don't you want the vaccine? And if not, why? And my brother's in New Zealand. He said he probably won't have it, but then they're pretty clear cases anyway. Um, but if he wants to travel, he may have to have it. My mum and dad have both had their first shots now, and we've all got and, and so have I and we've all got our dates for our second one which is wonderful and I believe that with the Pfizer vaccine the second shot is worse um, but for the AstraZeneca one which is the Oxford one I had and my mum had the second one's not supposed to be as bad I am really hoping that's the case because I don't want to end up like that again I don't want to have to have another two days off sick from work But at least, other than being exhausted, because uh, I'm really tired. And part of that is Jennifer, obviously, she's a young child, she's full of energy. I feel fine. And she is, I mean, she woke up at one o'clock last night and wanted me to come into my bed because I was sleeping in the spare room. She calls it Mummy's bed, it's in the spare room. Because I'd been colouring late. And then, because I'd been ill, and I just didn't, I don't want to keep Paul awake. And then she wouldn't go back to sleep and then she she got up again and this time she was calling for Paul, calling for Daddy and she wanted to go in his room. But the second time I went in and gave her a cuddle and put her back to bed, she went back to sleep. I think she just wanted to make sure we were both still there. It's really weird, you know. But then she is only three and we all have nightmares and maybe she just had a dream where Mummy and Daddy were missing or one of us was missing I don't know so yeah but then she went straight back and she slept all night then so well, she's asleep at the moment but whether or not that'll last all night I don't know I hope so because I'm too blinking tired to cope tonight to, to, to the point that I'm going to stop soon um, even though we've hardly done anything and we'll come back and do some more and what if we've hardly done anything we've done most of Goldilocks, apart from finishing her dress. So I'm just going to carry on with it. I always think that I should be doing a lot in these videos, but it's more about having a chat as well. So, silly of me to, to worry because, but then I do. I care about what you guys think out there, and I don't want you getting bored and, you know. It's supposed to be fun for you as well as for me. 
I do enjoy talking to you. <laughs> oh. I mean, unfortunately, at the moment, there's not a lot happening other than I'm reading a lot. Um, I must try and finish my Jack the Ripper book. I have started my Stephen King. I was reading that downstairs earlier. Um, but Jack Ripper's too big to hold while Jennifer's around, so I'll probably read some more of that tonight because it's like A4 sized. So I'll just try and read a bit of that and finish that off. I have read quite a few books this month, but I haven't been, I haven't been writing them down in my book, so I might do that tonight once I finish my filming session. <laughs> I might do. But it is, it's good, it's good. Just so I can see how many I've read. I also haven't updated my Goodreads. I think I've got four books to put on there. Mind you, I've been reading this box set of ten and I've read four of them in two days. Three today and most of one yesterday, so I need to um put them on. But I don't actually know what the title is, so I need to go and look for it. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I might order some reading books as well with some of the bonus money. I might not spend it all on colouring books. Uh, there's a Valentino book I want. There's a Harlow book I want. There's a Monroe. Loads of Marilyn stuff I want. Yeah. But I got. I think one of the reasons I've not been buying them is I've got so many books to read. I've got them in every, practically every room in the house. I've got tons of books in here that haven't been read, some in the master bedroom that haven't been read, loads in the living room that haven't been read. And it's just... I want to get rid of them. Well, I want to get through them so I can get rid of the ones I'm not going to keep. And I can put the ones I am going to keep on their correct shelves. But I'm reading so many ebooks because they're so easy to read and just hold them. Oh my god, and didn't it take me ages to figure out how to do it again? Put the images in on the last video. <laughs> I hadn't done one for so long, a reading wrap up, that I've forgotten how to get the pictures on and in the right place and everything. So I was very pleased when I did, I can tell you. I really was because I thought I'm never going to get this in the right place. This is ridiculous. And then suddenly it, it sort of fell into place, and I was oh, all right, okay, fair enough. So I know next time it'll be easier. So, but I think I set my challenge. Well, I know I set my challenge to seventy-five, and I think I'm on forty-two. So I know when I do get up to something like seventy. I'll put it up, depending on when that is, I'd probably put it up to 100. Because you can edit your reading challenge if you're getting close to completing it. Because it, it's not really a challenge that then. Whereas before I wasn't reading as much, so 75 was a challenge. And at one point 100 was a challenge. But i got a feeling it's going to be nearer 150 this year, the way I'm reading. I mean, I've got extra time at home because I haven't got an hour commute. So even if it's, like, say it's 45 minutes there or 50 minutes there and 10 minutes back, that's an hour I've saved. Yes, I have to drop off and pick up Jennifer, but that only takes 10 minutes each way. So I've gained 40 minutes there. And I can read on my book wherever I am. So if we're out and... She's playing football with Paul because I don't play the football. I just I just mind the bags and the drinks. I can read my book. 
If we're on the beach, I can read a book. If I'm in bed, I can read a book. In the bath, read a book. Though I do t tend to have showers and don't read books in the showers, funny enough. In the bath, yes. Paperback. I want a Kindle Oasis because they're waterproof. <laughs> I can't justify the money. Not at the moment. I might save up for it. I've got Kindle. I've charged it up and I haven't used it since. I put a book on it as well to read. But uh, yeah, it's just one of those things, isn't it? You know, I can't wait though to. I mean, I'm reading a good box set at the moment. It's a cozy mystery set set in the Cotswolds, Cotswolds by Agatha Frost. And I am enjoying it very much, um, which is why I've read four of them in two days. And that's the problem, I'll get into a box set and I'll finish book. And because it's just as easy as swiping, you know, you don't have to put the book down and pick up another one. Just swipe, swipe. I don't have to reload it, it's there already. It's so easy to read them. My mum's the same, she constantly reads. Excuse me, having a sniffle. I'm a bit ugh. A bit ugh today. A bit more of this, and then we'll go back over it, and then we'll call it a day, I think, because we are now on about <gasps> nearly 50 minutes, I'd say. If, if it is 30 minutes, it's either cut off at 25 or 30 minutes. I'm not actually sure. But, um, we can have a nice long one on the next one. Or we can, we'll put it, in, we'll probably put, put this into three parts. Um, hopefully I'll have my other camera back up and running. If not, I'll have to order a, a charger if I can't find it. It's in the living room somewhere. Know that for a fact. But I think Jennifer's put it somewhere. Cause she's got this habit of picking things up and then hiding them. She's naughty. <laughs> it's just like my glasses went missing um, a couple of weeks ago or last week or something like that. And I knew where I put them and they weren't there. And I thought, Jennifer's had these. So I wore my spares and I wore my sunglasses because it was a very sunny day one day. And then two days later, up she trots and hands me my glasses. I'm like, oh yeah, where did you find them, Jen? Uh, uh, under the table. And who put them there, Jen? Bibi did, which is what she calls herself. I'm like, yeah, I know you did. Luckily, I do have a spare pair of glasses. They're my old pair, but they are the same prescription. And I've got a pair of sun prescription sunglasses. So I was able to wear them because it was very sunny one day. Um, so that's not too bad. Could have been a lot, lot worse. I'm just going to go over this red as well so it blends in a bit better. Mm. But, uh, so I think she's probably done that with my charger. But if I can't find it, I'm going to have to look at trying to replace it. And I'm dreading how much it's going to cost me. I don't think it's going to be cheap. Because of course they've got to be specific ones for the the cameras as well. Because all the cameras have different size flaming batteries. God forbid they make them all the same, isn't it? Because that's how they make their money out of you. Kids will be kids. I'll probably order another one and it'll turn out. That's usually what happens, isn't it? He's still chatting away, which is good. I've been going nearly an hour now. There you have, which is it's nice. I'm glad he's talking to his mate. Because he doesn't see his friends very often, especially now with this going on. Everybody's working from home, which I am not complaining about. And in fact, Mark Drayford, the minister has suggested that he thinks there will be a third wave and it's not going to be over anytime soon it's not going to be over this year like boris johnson's saying boris johnson wants everything back to normal by june the 21st and mark drakeford says he can't see, drakeford says he can't see that happening and i think mark drakeford's right on this point i don't think it's going to be back to normal by as much as i'd like it to be by the 21st of january uh, june um I totally get where he's coming from because although we vaccinated a lot of people 
that's not taking into account the people who haven't been vaccinated. The fact that you can still get it, though maybe not as uh, serious. And that you can still pass it on to people who maybe haven't been vaccinated for whatever reason. They may be a younger person, so they're not in the correct um, group yet. Or they may be one of these people that doesn't want it for whatever reason and they're within their rights too. is up a bit sorry so I think that's the thing um he does say I can't see it getting back to normal anytime this year I think he says I think it's with us for the rest of this year and uh, Steve Donahue he thinks it's never going away I, I, I in a way I can see what he's saying it's going to be around for a long time different variants like the flu and it, we're never going to get back to the normal that we had before which I think is very tragic not necessarily for me, I mean, I'm, I'm 47 this year, I'm quite happy staying at home. I do miss going out to the pub for a drink and for a moot around the shops. But I feel sorry for Jennifer's generation and the, the generation that are teenagers now and what they're missing out on, what we went, what the fun we had when we were 18, 19, 20, 21, going to university and college and doing all that stuff that they're missing out on. And I think that's the tragedy. As well as all the deaths, obviously, but you know, I do feel for these kids. They they can't. They're not having a proper university life. They're not having a. They can't get do their driving tests. They can't have driving lessons. They can't do anything normal. And I think that might be around for a very long time, if not forever is very very scary oh, i'm not going to get into it anymore that's enough for this video on that at the moment i'm just trying to keep jennifer safe and paul and myself as safe as possible in my family and of course everybody else because it's about having respect for everybody whether you like them or not i wouldn't want anybody to die of this disease it's not very nice. But, back to the colouring. That's what's keeping us going these times. Books and colouring. Films, Netflix. I don't have Netflix. I'm not a big TV watcher. You know, I, there are certain things I will watch and there are certain things I want to watch. And yes, if I wanted to watch something that was on Netflix, I would happily pay the subscription and get it. But I don't. And I know you can share it with people, but my mum doesn't have that sort of TV. She doesn't have a smart TV yet, so there's no point. If she had one, then, I, then I'd be more considerate to get it, because she might want to watch something on there, but... I'm quite happy with my Amazon Prime. <laughs> and again, I don't watch much on there, and what I have watched um, have been things like Good Omens, Picard. Never watched all that, did watch most of it, though. Um... And two films that I bought for Jennifer, which was How the Grinch Stole Christmas and Jurassic Park. A three-year-old wants to watch Jurassic Park. She only watches a little bit of it and then she says, oh, I've had enough and I turn it off. I'm like, oh, for God's sake. I was watching that. And then she'll want to watch something like Doctor Who or she'll want to watch Peppa Pig. <laughs> and she likes the strangest things. Um, she's quite a funny girl I am literally going to finish her dress well this bit of her dress and I'm going to call it a day because we're nearly on an hour I'm actually going to see if it clicks off at 25 or 30 because we're nearly at 30 again seriously this is nearly an hour long this vid and there's I've hardly done anything so I'm just going to finish her dress I think it went off at 30, to be fair. But also it takes a long time to edit and it takes a long time to upload. Obviously the bigger the video, the longer it takes to upload. And I also I want to get a drink and 
<laughs> it's just a field of red. It looks like a, a bloodbath, really. I might need a new sharpener, actually. <laughs> oh no, it's got to be 30 minutes then, so we'll just finish this off and then that'll do. So I do apologise that the first part of this was upside down. I'm an idiot, <laughs> but there you go. By the time I realised we'd already started colouring, so... We're starting again, because then I'd have to explain that I did it wrong anyway. So you might as well watch the, me be an idiot. Like I said, I'm not used to filming on this camera. Not at all. I much prefer the other one. I, I filmed the vlog on this camera. And the booktube, when I'm looking directly at the camera, it makes it easier. There's, you know, but... Uh, at least this camera beeps when it stops, though. The other one doesn't. It just stops dead and you're like, what's going on? And you look at the camera and it says, recording's automatically stopped. And you're like, what? I didn't know that. But on this one, it actually beeps to let you know it's going to it's stopped. It means you can come back and you know exactly what you were talking about, which isn't a lot. I'm not going to talk about Meghan and Harry. If you've seen it, fine. I haven't seen it. I've only read the paper coverage, so I don't know anything about it. I'm staying out of it. I've got no thoughts one way or the other. I've got nothing against her. I don't know what the truth is. I wasn't there. So... I will say I'm sure it was difficult for her. I'm sure it was difficult for her. It can't be easy. And I hope they can find happiness because everybody deserves to be happy. So I do apologise that we haven't done as much as we would normally do, but then again, like I said, we are using pencils and it is slower working with pencils than with markers. I've never coloured in a Selena Fennec with markers, have I? I think I've done one in one of the Halloween books, I think. One of the books I've done it in, anyway. Anyway, that is going to be it. I'm just going to zoom out so we can have a quick look at it. Like I said, I do apologise for the uh, having it upside down earlier that's because I wasn't sure what I was doing but that's all we've done so far just tip it so you can see it properly because I know this isn't the best and I um, hope you've enjoyed this hodgepodge of a video and we will continue colouring in Goldilocks in the next episode of Colouring Chat hopefully with the other camera so I hope you've enjoyed this, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.